You know, I was thinking this morning as I sat out on my vacation and was drinking my coffee and I had my do-rag on, as you see. And I was thinking about when I was a kid and I would get invited over to sleepovers and I would always be worried about what am I going to do with my hair? Because this would be a white girl. I was like the only little black kid in this school. And I was like, Lord, what am I going to do with my hair? I can't tie it up. And of course, I'm young. I'm trying to fit in. So I don't want to do anything that makes me stand out. And for sure, the white girls were not tying their hair up at night. There were no bonnets, no do-rags. And so that would be a big issue. And I wouldn't even wear it, right? And just pray that it didn't go crazy in the morning. And I was thinking about how now, like I'm in this like really nice location, not a whole, I mean, the, I'm in Anguilla. So of course the population is primarily black, but you know, there's white guests and I got my do-rag. Um, and I was thinking how comfortable I am, how that was a journey to have to um, just come comfortable with what I need to do with my hair. And, you know, you, 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 we talk about code switching, but I don't think sometimes we realize just how every little thing throughout our lives sometimes, some of us, we are code switching and trying to fit in and just um, almost made to feel ashamed of ourselves and who we are and what is needed. So it's a beautiful thing when a black person um, gets to the point where they genuinely love each other because I believe that this country teaches us to hate ourselves, to minimize ourselves, to muzzle ourselves, um, to dilute ourselves. And so I'm just grateful that I'm here today, do rag and all.